opened up this store probably about four years ago as a skate shop, not knowing we were going to come in to a non-profit. We set up with more kid skaters and then we started working with a lot of graffiti artists. Like, let me paint on your wall, let me do this, let me do that. Let's keep it grungy, let's keep it garagey, let's keep it like you're in your backyard, let's yeah. just lay back, kick back. You look around, there's nothing here but everything pretty much is found. Picture frames, windows, old furniture that we find in the alley. And the stuff that we found, we've made the best of it. The money goes around and goes right back into the kid's pocket and motivates them to not just go tag on the wall, it's, let's go do a mural on the wall. I mean, if you look around this shop, there is so much to see. Every time we go out and do skate competitions, we create a new board, a piece of art, also done by the young artists around here. If they don't have the money to buy it, I have them come in and clean windows and sweep and mop and, you know, recycle our trash cans and our cans and aluminum and we do car washing. A lot of kids were inspired by that movie Dogtown where, you know, the Venice Beach skate riders and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of those kids went pro. So now, the young, the young ethnic generation, Hispanics and Blacks and Asians are doing the skateboard. And little Renee, he did a commercial for Chrysler Plymouth. Benson Lovano, he went pro with Alamin. We have a two-year-old skater. Three skaters went pro last year with us. He broke the Guinness Book of Records and he holds it for two years. Skate park that everybody talks about, but in order to come into the skate park, you have to have a C average. So have bands come and play and we have like break dancing contests. This is what we call the lounge area. For us in East LA, this is a great lounge here. <laughs> we find the furniture up and down the streets, the alleys. We have uh, open mic here on Fridays. I give these kids the opportunity to come and paint here, but when they come and paint on my walls, we create a show around them. These kids are the neglected kids, single parents, mom always working, dad in and out of prison. <coughs> This is our learning center in here. Right now it's pretty much just a couple couches and the kids feel really comfortable. It's like going at home or going to your garage and getting away from mom and dad. We make sure on a daily basis that they do their homework. Because if they don't do their homework, they can't participate in the art, they don't participate in the skate, and they don't participate in anything that we have to offer. 